In this video, we're going to learn how to sketch a graph from a couple of its number lines. So, I don't know the equation of this function, but I do have its f of x number line and its slope number line. And based on the information I gather from these two number lines, I can get a pretty good, pretty accurate sketch of the function. So the key thing to keep in mind is that it's kind of a, this is very much like a puzzle type of problem. Um, the, the, we've got to make our graph, whatever grip picture we come up with, it has to agree with all the details and the characteristics that are showing up on these number lines. Um, the other thing to keep in mind is, um, you know, you see things like, you know, you see this plus here, and you see this plus here, but they mean two completely different things because they're on different number lines. This plus means our graph is rising, right, increasing after 7. This plus means that the graph, the function is itself positive, so the y values are positive. So you want to be aware of that, and what you should do is once you get a picture down, just go back and um, make sure your, your graph agrees with the number lines. Okay, so here's, it, it, this is very much a non, like, uh, sequential process. This is kind of like, you kind of have to track a few different things. But what I, one thing I would start with is, okay, we know that uh, at negative 1, 3, and 7, um, the function is 0. And actually, I should probably, I really should put, I mean, I really wanted these to be, to have zeros, to be zeros, because they could be vertical asymptotes, right? Those would also show up. But I want them to be zeros. I should have stated that. So put z's above there. So at negative 1, I've got a 0. So that'll go on the number line. And that's one point we know. Uh, at 3, there will be a 0. And at 7. OK, what else do we know? Well, we know that at 2, 5, and 7, we have what are called critical points places where the function changes from increasing to decreasing, or vice versa. So I'm going to put 2 on the number line here. It's not a 0, but it's got to go on there because it's a, it's a point of interest. 5 is going to go on the number line, so I'll put that somewhere like here. And then 7, notice 7 is already on there. All right, so now what I do is, and I'm just kind of going to talk, th talk through how I think about these problems. I'm going to... Start by noting that the slope starts as a, uh, being negative to the left of 2. So that means that the, the graph is decreasing. So that means that um, I need to draw my line going down right, to the left of, of 2. So, so the function is going downwards. But I kind of don't know where to start. I mean, is it going down right, you know, this, you know, down here? Should I draw it up here? That's when I'm going to look at my, my f of x number line. To the left of negative 1, the function is positive. So to the left of 2, it's decreasing. And at least to the left of negative 1, it's, it's positive. So since now this is a 0, something tells me that this is appropriate. Right? It is decreasing. This, this line I just drew here now, as you go from left to right, it's decreasing. And to the left of 1, negative 1, it's positive. Okay. Well, notice it's still decreasing until 2. So I'm going to keep going. It's going to keep decreasing until 2. And if it's not decreasing at 2, or it stops decreasing at 2 and then starts to increase, then I've got to do this. That's sort of a turning point. Now what? Well, the next zero is at 3. Notice that the function is negative, and that's, that is what's happening, right? All these y values are negative. So that kind of that fell into place as we wanted to. And then uh, our next zero is at 3, so this is going to turn around, hit that zero there. And so far, we're good in the slope number line section 2, because between 2 and 5, it's increasing. So to the right of 2, it's increasing. Now it's going to keep increasing until 5. So it's going to keep going, increasing until 5, and then it switches from increasing to decreasing, right? From increasing to decreasing. 
And now it's going to turn around and hit 7 because that's the next zero. So now I've got to turn around and hit that 7. And then after 7, it continues to increase. But 7 is also a 0. So this is, this is one of those situations where not only do we have a, a 0 here, it's also a critical point. I place with it function change from decreasing to increasing. And so I think that this is a picture that does it. I think this, this gets at everything. And, and here's how you check. We go back to our number line, and we do one at a time. Is the function positive to the left of negative 1? Yes, it is. Is it negative in between negative 1 and 3? Yes. Is it positive in between 3 and 7? Yes. Uh, is it positive to the right of 7? Yes, it is. And now we just check the slope number line. Is it decreasing until negative 2? Yep. Is it increasing from 2 to 5? Yep. Is it decreasing between 5 and 7? Yep. And then is it increasing after 7? It is. All right. So if any one of those things failed, you have to go back and sort of edit one, one or more pieces of your, your sketch. Um, but it's you know, it can be tough to keep track of both things at once because you, you'll, you'll tend to like maybe do something and then realize it violates something above. That's why I recommend doing these in pencil when you do do them. Um, and I think just keep at it. It's one of those things you know if you do it right because once you analyze your sketch based on the number lines, everything should match up in the grid.